And God said, let us make man after our image, after our likeness, and let us give them power and dominion. Well, that God is a little weaker than the God that created everything independent. What God is this that said, and let us not make another God as such. Let's make man and make him in our image and after our likeness. Well, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the God that spoke like that is the father of the white race. His name is Yaqub. In the scripture, he's called Jacob, not righteous Jacob. This is Jacob that wrestled with the angel and prevailed. And after he wrestled and prevailed, his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. We're coming up on you now, Mr. Satan. How did you get here? By what process were you made? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said you were grafted out of the original black man. Your own scholars bear witness to this truth. Your scientists are now agreeing with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that the Caucasian people are a new people on our planet and they have brought their figures in line with the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad 6,600 years ago. Well, if that is so, is that a teaching of hate? You said that the thing that causes us to be listed as a hate group is our teaching on Yaqub. My question to you is, can you, with all of your scientists, disprove what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has said of you. You are not an ancient people. You are new people on our planet. You had to have a place of origin and you had to have a source from which you originated. You even put out a movie called Children of a Lesser God. And Yaqub was a god, all right, but he was a lesser god to the god who originated the heavens and the earth and all in between. You are a scientific experiment that we did with ourselves to see whether evil had the same power as good. So in the germ of the black man, the life germ, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that Yaqub saw the brown germ in the life germ of the black man, a black germ and a brown germ. And he said that if he could separate that brown germ, he could drive it into its last stage and clothe it with flesh and give it form and expression and that Mr. Yaqub did. Yaqub was born 20 miles outside of the city of Mecca in Arabia. Go to the book of Habakkuk. It says God came from Teman and the Holy One from Mount Paran. These are two cities in Arabia. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad asked, which one of these two would you take for your Lord? The God that came out of Teman or the Holy One from Mount Paran? Arabia is the birthplace of Yaqub. It is where he taught the 30% who were dissatisfied to follow him. But the rulers of Arabia would not allow him to make his people on that peninsula. So they assigned him to the island of Pilan or Patmos 
in the Aegean Sea. And there he took his followers and the process of grafting white out of black began. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said it took 600 years. The process was a birth control process, a selective breeding process where you married the, the lighter on to the lighter and you killed the darker, saved the lighter, marrying the lighter on to the lighter. And after 200 years, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said God revealed to him that there was a brown civilization on our planet. And 200 more years of that same process, a yellow civilization was in existence. And 200 years after that, that same process continued for 600 years. And at the end of that time, there was a blonde haired, blue eyed creature on our planet that is called the Caucasian. After you were made, you still had the language. It is a Semitic language. It is Arabic. You were speaking that language, but you had it when your father, before you were grafted from black into white, you spoke that language. Arabia was your home, but now you're a new creature and you go back into Arabia and you start using some of the technology that you were taught by your father, Yaqub. And within six months, you had the Holy Land turned upside down. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that they started questioning, when did this problem arise among us that they were causing us to fight and kill one another by telling lies. You do the same today. Everywhere you go, you start pitting one against the other, telling lies, dividing and conquering. Well, those days are over. Now it's your time to suffer the consequences of your evil. Even though there's a chance for you to escape those consequences because what you did was divinely given to you to do and you have fulfilled your role and now the mercy of God is asking you if you would like to be a part of that which he makes new or do you still want to fight God over your place if you do this is your end.